Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven again. Today's tutorial is going to be on using masks within Flash. So I'm going to start off with making Action Script 2. And then I'm going to come on over to File, Import to, let's go to Library. Select both of these and click Open. And what that did was place these images into our library. And I have a simple background layer and I uh, bus. Let me see if I can show you these larger. For the background layer, all I have is a, a pretty bad Photoshop job of combining a few images. And then for this bus right here, all it is is a inside view of a bus and we're going to mask out these windows and make it look like this background is uh, going past it. So it looks like you're riding inside the bus. So let me close this up and go ahead and get started. Okay, so come on over to here, and we're going to drag this bus image out onto, onto uh, what do you call it, the stage. So I'm going to zoom out a bit, and actually I can size this down a bit. So I'm going to come over to this transform tool, hold down Alt and Shift, and scale it down. That's good. So I'm going to zoom in to about 100 again. And I'm going to name this layer, let's see, bus. And then make one more layer. I'm going to name this one mask. I'm going to lock this bus layer, come on over to the mask, and grab the pen tool. And this pen tool is pretty much like a pen tool in Photoshop. Uh, it's just going to be click, click, click here, and I'm going to drag down to make this slight arch click over to here and up. Now that hasn't filled in so I'm going to come over to this paint bucket and click. Simple as that. Let's do the same thing right here. I'm just going to click and drag to make around there. Same thing for around here. I'm being a little bit sloppy because it's pretty boring watching me put these points in. It's boring doing them. I can only imagine how boring it is to watch. So I'm going to come over and do this last window. Okay, very good. Let's uh, fill this in. Simple as that. I'm going to make one layer underneath the mask layer. I'm going to name it background. I'm going to hide this bus layer and hide the mask layer and drag the background onto the stage. Let me zoom out to, let's go to 50. I'm going to grab the move tool and go into, let's see, yeah, I'll put the bottom corner onto here and I'm going to start with the left edge directly on this, on the edge of the stage. <coughs> And with this image, it's about double the width of the stage, so we're able to move it over a bit. That's why I had to combine two images. So I'm going to come over to frame 60, slide down all three of those, and click F6. And that's going to make keyframes for all that. So on this background layer, this last frame, I'm going to hold down Shift and drag this over. Oops. just to the edge of the stage again. Alright, now come on over to this first layer and create motion tween. Select this mask layer, right click, go to mask and make it visible. Same with the bus. And if I zoom in, you can see wherever we masked it made that part of the background visible. So come on and click control enter and you can see it looks like you're moving in the bus moving around in the bus and it's as simple as that you can even animate these this mask so it's gonna look bad but just to demonstrate my point I'm gonna unlock this layer and come on over here and I'm just gonna drag this up okay I'm gonna right click create motion tween 
control enter and you can see that the mask is animated I mean <laughs> you wouldn't want this obviously but it just shows that you're able to animate masks and that's it for this tutorial it's very simple uh, I use it quite a bit and hopefully <laughs> this taught you something see you next time